pleasure of meeting this next speaker, you will know that she is the embodiment of beauty and grace. I, for one, am excited to learn how she does it as she talks about living la vida yoga. Welcome, Veronica Torres. <laughs> Aww, thank you. Yes, I'm a yogi. Yes, I'm Latina. And yes, it's different, right? So that's where the living Latina, living <laughs> la vida yoga comes from. I thought it was cool. And I start with Ricky Martin because he's practicing yoga. So my whole presentation today is about living a life of yoga and how yoga impacted me. And hopefully you guys will seek out um, to a mat soon. But this is me and my family. I bring this up because I know we look like indigenous people, right? But really Mexican, really, really Mexican. If you ask my dad, we're Chicano, right? But this is my brothers and sisters. So I grew up in a traditional, non-traditional, uh, living La Vida Loca family. It's a church I went to. This is a real picture of my grandmother's shrine. This is my family in Austin, Texas. So shout out to Austin. This is Easter. This is what we do. This is tradition. I bring that up because I think people think yoga is based on religion and not necessarily. Um, yoga is based on getting a better life and living a life without stress to me in my life. So this is me stressed out as I think everyone gets stressed out. I work in the corporate community here in Dallas and I found that stressed out is a regular thing. Well, what does stress do to you, right? Put this up here, headaches, teeth grinding, disease, heart disease. The most important thing, decrease sex drive. Who wants that? No one, right? Boo, right? So more importantly, go to yoga, right? Because it's important. But this is what, when I told my family I was doing yoga, this is what their perception was. But this looks like a good sex drive, maybe, right? <laughs> this is what everyone perceives yoga to be in my family, right? And this is, the next upcoming slide, is what I think Dallas perceives yoga, right? <laughs> Lululemon girls, the SMU girls stretching it out and the see-through yoga pants, big booty, that's yoga, right? <laughs> yoga pants and sex and all that. Well, it's a little bit of everything. But to me, yoga is more of an internal space. This is the reality to me. Anyone can do yoga. You have men who are not gay, not straight, not whatever. They're just out there practicing a life of mind, body, and spirit. And the king of hip hop, Russell Simmons, is a yogi. So everyone can do yoga. I mean, it's, it's for everybody. These are some benefits that I found in doing yoga that I'm hoping that you guys can identify with. Better sex, better sex, better sex. <laughs> you can sleep better at night, boost confidence. Um, there's so many things that, that, that you don't think about. Your back is, you know, work, whatever. But this is what I found in yoga. I found love. I found a connection to who I was internally without any sort of judgments. I think when you go to a yoga class, I know this is full of women, there's a mixed group of people that do yoga and people that you don't normally think about. It's kind of a sense of community. You have people from all races, all backgrounds that are trying to go and find their zen. They're trying to find out you know, what their space is. They're trying to get in line with themselves or they're trying to get a workout. And this is what yoga looks like to me. And this sometimes, I know some of you may not want to do this, but when you go in there, you start to learn that these poses are actually beneficial to you and, and how you're living and help with your stress and anxiety. Um, I can't do that yet, but this is me now. <laughs> and that's my husband in the far left over there. Yes, yes. And this is my yoga studio. So this is who I am now. And thanks to yoga, I've explored myself in a way that I've never had before outside of my tradition and I become. And this is my new nut. I had to put my 10 month baby up up here, right? Give a hand, round of applause for Kalia. But I'm starting young. I'm trying to change what I think people are perceiving yoga to be. I'm trying to teach a child at an early age. They can tune in, they can meditate, and they can find themselves. And Dallas really does need yoga because here's the problem. We have road rage in Dallas. We have, we're one of the top 10 fattest cities. And we have an ego, right? Dallas has an ego. So I think that when we apply what yoga can do, we can combat some of those problems. And to do yoga, you really don't have to be flexible as you probably think you do. You just need to be curious. Um, I think that just showing up and letting yourself decide on this is something for you and also have a flexible mind, right? So a cartoon character here. If you're open-minded and you're willing and, although I would not say this, I meet a lot of people on there that have the girls invite their Tinder dates to yoga and they show up at the studio and I'm like, hi, hi. So it's a great place to meet people too. And you don't know, you might have the clear yoga pants. And if you're a hothead and you're non-flexible, I think you need to bring your ass to yoga, right? 
So if, this, if any of these apply to you, then I think it's time for you to come check us out. And since you're here to be enlightened, I think yoga can do that for you. So show up and come meet me on the mat. Um, V12 yoga, it's only one hour. And I think that's in a short amount of time to be enlightened. If you want to come, come join me. Uh, namaste, bitches.